Gneiss is a common and widely distributed type of rock formed by high-grade regional metamorphic processes from pre-existing formations that were originally either igneous or sedimentary rocks. It is often foliated. The foliations are characterized by alternating darker and lighter colored bands, called gneissic banding. Etymology The etymology of the word gneiss is disputed. Sources say it comes from the Middle High German verb gneist. It has occurred in English since at least 1757. Composition Gneissic rocks are usually medium to coarse foliated and are largely recrystallized but do not carry large quantities of micas, chlorite or other platy minerals. Gneisses that are metamorphosed igneous rocks or their equivalent are termed granite gneisses, diorite gneisses, etc. Gneiss rocks may also be named after a characteristic component, such as garnet gneiss, biotite gneiss, albite gneiss, etc. Orthoi gneiss designates a gneiss derived from an igneous rock, and para gneiss is one from a sedimentary rock. Not all gneiss rocks have detectable banding however. Kyanite gneiss crystals look like random clumps of kyanite in what is mainly a plagioclase matrix. Gneissic banding, gneiss appears to be striped in bands, called gneissic banding. The banding is developed under high temperature and pressure conditions. The minerals are arranged into layers which appear to be bands, when the rock is broken and viewed from the side. This is because of a different composition of each layer, or band, called compositional banding. The darker bands have relatively more mafic minerals. The lighter bands contain relatively more felsic minerals. A common cause of the banding is the subjection of the protolith to extreme shearing force, a sliding force similar to the pushing of the top of the deck of cards in one direction, and the bottom of the deck in the other direction. These forces stretch out the rock like a plastic, and the original material is smeared out into sheets. Some banding is formed from original rock material that is subjected to extreme temperature and pressure and is composed of alternating layers of sandstone and shale which is metamorphosed into bands of quartzite and mica. Another cause of banding is metamorphic differentiation, which separates different materials into different layers through chemical reactions, a process not fully understood. Types, orthoinice designates a nice derived from an igneous rock, and paranice is one from a sedimentary rock. Nisos rocks have properties similar to nice. Lusian, most of the outer Hebrides of Scotland have a bedrock formed from Lusian gneiss. This bedrock contains rocks that are among the oldest in Europe and indeed the world, having been formed in the Precambrian Super Eon up to 3 billion years ago. In addition to the outer Hebrides, they form basement deposits on the Scottish mainland west of the Mointhrust and on the islands of Cull and Tyree. These rocks are largely igneous in origin, mixed with metamorphosed marble quartzite and mica schist with later intrusions of basaltic dikes and granite magma. The gneiss's delicate pink colors are exposed throughout the islands. Orgen gneiss. Orgen gneiss, from the German, Orgen, eh degree Celsius unregistered trademark N, meaning eyes, is a coarse-grained gneiss resulting from metamorphism of granite, which contains characteristic elliptic or lenticular shear-bound feldspar porphyroclasts, normally microcline within the layering of the quartz, biotite and magnetite bands. Archean and Proterozoic gneiss, Archean and Proterozoic gneisses appear in Scandinavia. Henderson gneiss, Henderson gneiss is located in North Carolina and South Carolina, USA, east of the Brubard Shear Zone. It has deformed into two sequential forms. The second more warped form is associated with the Brubard Fault and the first deformation results from displacement to the southwest. See also, list of rock types, footnotes. References, Blatt, Harvey and Robert J. Tracy. Petrology, Igneous, Sedimentary and Metamorphic, 2nd ed. Freeman, PPA 359 Euro 365. ISBN 0. 7167-2438-3. Gillen, Con. Geology and Landscapes of Scotland. Harpenden. Terra Publishing. ISBN 1-903544-09-2. McCurdy, Alan Gordon, John and Crofts, Roger. Land of Mountain and Flood. 
the geology and landforms of Scotland. Edinburgh. Glean. ISBN 978-1-84158-357-0. Murray, W. H. The Hebrides. London. Heinemann. External links, Anais. Encyclopædia Britannica 1911A, Anais. New International Encyclopedia 1906A.